now. Okay, so the observer. Uh, and I, I've got a mug as well. Okay, it's great. Okay, so this is... Um, we're, we're on camera, so anything you say will be taped and used against you. I shouldn't have said that, should I? But anyway, so um, this is an object, okay? This is an object, okay? Now, this is a meaningless object, okay? Everyone is observing this mug. Is anybody this mug? No. Okay, see, if you, if you go that, that means that's correct. You are the observer of the mug. And this mug is full of water, so it's not the best one to use, but uh, this pen, okay? Now, if the, you are the observer of this pen, if I move this pen in front of you, are you the pen? If I hide the pen behind me, are you the pen? Okay, good. So, also, is anyone here confused that they might be the pen? <laughs> okay, good. All right. So, that's how you do self-inquiry, or that's how you practice the observer tool. When you see an object, you, you gain clarity that the observer of the object is not the object. Even if the object is passing before you, the observer cannot be the object. And even if the object is not here, you're still not the object. That's, very, that's, the, that's the key essentials to the observer. So the next thing is thoughts. Thoughts, you know, so sometimes thoughts are passing by, sometimes there's lots of thoughts, sometimes there may be no, no thoughts. Um, so, is anybody here, okay, well, let's try it first. Is, it, is anyone here a thought? Is everyone, is everyone here experiencing that being in that which observes thoughts? Good. Okay. So, very good. That's excellent. So this is this is how we think. So, so that which observes thoughts is not thoughts. And even if there was no thoughts here, the observer would still be here. If there was lots of thoughts here, the observer would be here. And the and it's very clear that the observer of thoughts is not a thought. What about if I? What about images and memories that pass by? Is that which observes images and mem? Memories, is that an image or a memory? No, good. I think we're doing, we're doing really well here, okay? Mm -hmm. What about, like, suddenly if a feeling arises in consciousness, is that which observes the feeling, is it a feeling? Okay, good. Okay, so the next one is, okay, let's try this one, like location. Something experiences location. You know, something experiences this, uh, maybe a this a location or that location. But there is that which observes location. Is that which observes location in location? You have to do this experience, experientially. That which observes, is that which observes thought to thought? Is that which observes, so thoughts can go past, but that which observes thoughts is not a thought. If a memory comes back from when you're three years old and passes by, are you that memory? Mm -hmm. Is that which observes the memory a memory? No. Okay. So, like, sense of location. That which senses location, that which observes senses of location, is that in location? This has to be experienced. So you have to keep practicing it until you see that which is observing location. Something tracks time or identifies with time. You know, something is like ticking along trying to count seconds. But that which observes time, is that which observes time in time? No. So you have to, you have to do these experientially. Now if you go to, even if you went to that which is observing time and there was time there, then you'd have to go to that which is still observing time and see if that which is an observing of time does time exist in that which watches time? So you have to do this as ex not as mental things, because if you did the, if you did the first thing, that which observes thoughts is not thoughts, then you can't think the answers. You have to experience the answers. So that which is observing, so you can just uh, you can just uh, either nod your head yes or shake your head no. So the experience that you're experiencing now. Is it in any way limited or contracted what you're experiencing this moment? Uh, if it's uh, if it's a, if it's yes, just uh, if you're feeling contracted, just go like this. Yeah? Okay. 
Okay, so then you would go into that, which, what is observing this experience of contraction? And is that which is observing this experience of contraction, is that contracted? Okay, so that's a quick introduction.